Hey everyone, this is The Man Called Ant, and I'm very happy to say that I am completing my first month of my journey, and it has been more successful than I could have possibly hoped. Uh, for a quick recap, August 1st was my birthday, and I hit my lowest low. Um, I lost my dog. Uh, my arthritis was more painful than ever before. Um, I had lumps and bumps in me that didn't feel good. <clears throat> Generally, I was in very, very rough shape. So I decided to take a stand and actually to make big changes. I took time off work to be able to make these changes, time off work that I'm continuing um, until I am satisfied with my health uh, that I'm back in a much safer state. Uh, so this meant an extreme start to my program. Um, on s August 3rd, I started water fasting. And I water fasted for 15 days straight, nothing but water. And it was wildly successful for uh, not just losing weight, but for dramatically removing inflammation in my belly knee and uh, feet so yeah dramatic um, inflammation reduction to the point that i could start exercising again which was the primary goal so after the water fast was over i had lost i believe 40 to 50 pounds and um, many people said i would gain that back in water weight and to some degree they were right i gained back eight pounds in water weight within my first week of refeeding myself um, and that was tricky too because although I did it safely I have been refeeding myself with a ketogenic diet for those unfamiliar watch my videos I talk all about it but anyway a ketogenic diet basically turns the food triangle that we've followed since children upside down where fats and protein become the most important part of our diet where we should be getting the majority of our calories and then starches and grains being the least important and dramatically its smallest amount um, there uh, I at one time thought that keto because um, I'd known people that have done it and I'd looked it up before was going to be incredibly restrictive and incredibly difficult to do and uh, I am so wrong. I'm two weeks into the eating program now. I told you the first week I gained back eight pounds. Now, since um, following the keto diet for these past two weeks, at the end of the second week, I have lost uh, nine pounds. So I have reduced that water weight return and started consistently losing weight afterwards and this is while eating things like bacon full fat uh, cottage cheese and sour cream lots of meat um, <clears throat> lots of snacks and treats made from other things for example hamburgers with the bun made from cheese and egg amazing it's freaking amazing but it works um, you know, rice from cauliflower. So I'm not really missing anything like I am on other restrictive diets, like the the uh, starch solution, for example. There's no fat. There's no meat, right? Whereas in this one, it's no starch, no bread, no rice, no potatoes, which by themselves are very bland foods anyway. It's the other things we add to those foods that make them delicious. So with keto, we just find other ways to use those delicious foods um, and it it is really working. Um, I've suffered with IBS my entire life. Um, irritable bowel syndrome, it has made my life a living hell for 30 years. I've been to doctors about it on both sides of the world. I've uh, researched it. I've done everything I could possibly do, and whereas sometimes I'd find a little bit of respite, it would never, ever go away. Uh, for those of you unfamiliar, my condition in particular, it felt like I small, swallowed a small pill, which then expanded into a giant cardboard box, points and all, 
inside my guts. I, I had massive swelling and irritation in my belly area. It was like a rock to actually touch me. It was um, incredibly uncomfortable and uh, caused all sorts of nightmares in the toilet itself. But uh, it's it's been a horrible experience that nothing has been able to help me with. Even going to the doctor and getting prescription um, IBS medicines did nothing. However, with keto, after a rough first week where my body was getting used to not getting carbohydrates anymore and instead getting way more fat, my my bowels did some loop-de-loops and kind of clean themselves out. Let's put it that way politely. But uh, since then, this past week, um, I have never in my life felt so comfortable going to the bathroom once or twice a day instead of five or six or seven or eight times a day in the past. Not even kidding you. Um, eight was not an uncommon number. Now one time and it's like, wow, that's it. That's, that's all I need. Hunger. Um, has gotten off the hook when I started um, and I mean that in a good way when I started the keto diet I was doing intermittent fasting 18 and 6 so for 18 hours I was fasting I was eating two meals within a six hour window um, because of the shrinkage of my stomach from the fast this just wasn't working for me um, I was having a hard time eating that much food so um, after that first week, I kind of transitioned last week into the OMAD, one meal a day diet. And that has been so much better for me. That's been incredible. Um, I'll have a big meal. I'll have three or four eggs, a handful of cheese, some pizza sauce, uh, some spinach, some green onions. Uh, that's what I ate today, by the way. And a, a giant uh, uh, pizza omelet with some um, cottage cheese on the side and some fresh chopped vegetables, including an avocado. And it looks huge. People would look at that and go, oh my God, how are you going to get skinny eating giant meals like that? It's like, that's my one meal. That's not even hitting close to my maintenance calories for the day, which is fine. I don't mind being in, in extreme calorie deficit um, uh, because then I have room to, for example, have some yogurt with peanut butter powder in it or um, I have peanut butter cups not the ones that you get in the convenience stores. These ones are keto ones with uh, very, very low carbs, no sugar, um, et cetera, et cetera. So they fit very, very easily into the keto um, lifestyle. But the best, the best thing that's been happening this past week on the OMAD diet is I feel absolutely no hunger throughout the day. Nothing. Until about five or six, that's when I typically will say, okay, now I'm going to start thinking about making some dinner. When the food is cooking and I smell it, then I start feeling hungry. But for the entire day when I'm doing my workout, my, whether it's weight training or yoga, I'm doing it fasted. Um, if I'm going out for a walk to the store or any other activities, I'm doing it fasted. Um, I eat now in a two-hour window and fast for 22. And it's, it just feels the most comfortable for me. I, I don't feel like snacking later, and I certainly don't feel like any, eating anything when I get up um, in the morning or in the afternoon. So that in itself is really, really uh, a positive effect. It's simplifying life a lot. It's making my IBS a dream. Um, I feel like somebody who doesn't have IBS, which I've never felt before. Uh, loving that. And it's just, um, yeah, it's improving everything overall so i'm going to keep up with this keto thing last week i almost considered giving up because of the stomach stuff but um i did a little research and saw that i should keep plugging through and so i'm going to keep plugging through so onwards and upwards a month in i'm still weight training i'm still exercising six days a week i'm eating 100 percent keto i'm doing omad one meal a day sometimes with a little snack but i'm doing all my eating within a two-hour window and uh yeah I went from 310 to 20 pounds down to right now 269. That sounds like success to me in 30 days. Let's see what happens in the next 30 days.